are you carrying all those bricks for, anyway? God? Is that it? God? Well, I tell you, let me give you a little inside information about God. God likes to watch. He's a prankster. Think about it. He gives man instincts. He gives you this extraordinary gift, and then what does he do? I swear, for his own amusement, his own private cosmic gag reel, he sets the rules in opposition. It's the goof of all time. Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't taste. Taste, don't swallow. <laughs> and while you're jumping from one foot to the next, what is he doing? He's laughing his sick fucking ass off. He's a tight ass. He's a sadist. He's an absentee landlord. Worship that never. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven, is that it? Why not? I'm here on the ground with my nose in it since the whole thing began. I've nurtured every sensation man has been inspired to have. I cared about what he wanted, and I never judged him. Why? Because I never rejected him, in spite of all his imperfections. I'm a fan of man! I'm a humanist. Maybe the last humanist. Who, in their right mind, Kevin, could possibly deny the 20th century was entirely mine? All of it, Kevin! All of it. Mine. I'm peeking, Kevin. It's my time now. It's our time. Anybody want a drink? I'm having a drink. It is our time now, then. Welcome to the show. It is Tuesday, the 9th of July, 2013. And we are live on Awake Radio and broadcasting simultaneously on Blog Talk. You're listening to the Paul and Andy show. Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, we thought we'd try and I'd try and make our own little intro there. Yep. Uh, you'll have to let me know how that went, everybody. It was just my first attempt at our intro. <laughs> All right, we'll play that back. It'll probably sound terrible, by the way. <laughs> but I played two tunes on purpose there. Uh, Heaven 17 and Temptation, mm -hmm. and then the, the, the devil himself. Yep. The devil reincarnate. And how has, how has uh, human society got to this point? How have they got us to the point... That everything isn't as it should be. The opposite is true in almost every every circumstance. They sell us something good through the front door and install their own back door to come and burglar us during the night, don't they? Yeah. Everything's got the back door installed into it. Yeah. And they burglar us during the night time. Mm -hmm. We surround our houses with spies who do not love us. They don't love us at all. We have opened our houses and turned them into see-through fish bowls, haven't we? Yeah, we certainly have. And, yeah, uh, yeah. A little bit of uh, a little bit of, re of, of research will soon tell you. We have that become transparent. We, we, might, we might as well. Yeah, we have. We might yeah. well be living in fish bowls mm. because they can see right into our houses. Spiritually, we've already been raped, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Mentally, we've been raped. Yeah. And now physically, we've been taken to pieces, aren't we? Mm -hmm. This is our two hours every single Tuesday evening. We in the middle of Yorkshire. And we try and add to the collective knowledge of things that matter. Yeah. And everybody's doing that. And I have in the past been tempted to perhaps frown upon those that um, uh, frown upon those that are perhaps not doing what I think they should be doing. I'm starting to learn that uh, leave them alone. Mm -hmm. They're doing more than most. Mm -hmm. They are doing more than most. 
Now, we do have problems with, you know, certain parts of this community perhaps putting things into, in, into the mix that aren't helping a great deal. But gotta leave them alone. Gotta leave them alone. Mm -hmm. At least we know what side of the fence they're gonna be on. Whether they'll stand up and be counted is another matter altogether, it's isn't it? It is, yeah. You know, it's saving yourself starts with, <laughs> start with, starts with being independent, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But this is the devil's time, isn't it? The devil's time, Graham Hancock talks about it. Um, uh, he reads about um, the times from Egypt, about how mankind would fall. And uh, the, the other called the something of Hermes, the Hermes, the, 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 the words of Hermes or something like that, hermetic sayings or something like that. Right, yeah. And it is, it's about this time in history. But it's always been this time in history. It We've is. been falling for thousands of years. Yeah, this time is our time. That's right, it's just our <laughs> little just bit, our isn't it? time, yeah. We get 72, uh, 72 years mm. to try and work out what's happened over the past four or five thousand. Yes. It's a little bit of a big task, it's isn't it? just setting yourself a it's bit a of bit a task. It's a bit of a big task. Yeah. Because we always succumb to temptation. Mm -hmm. Everybody always does. Everybody's always got the price, and people can, can pretend they don't, and, and pretend it's for little children, isn't it? But yeah. we, we, we do pretend that we are more than we are. We do pretend we're better than we are. There's four different types of people, isn't there? There's, um, there's the, the sharing caring, and then there's the ambitious achiever, yeah. and then there's the, uh, the deceiving liar, and then the working survivor. <laughs> We're all of them, aren't we? Mm, we we've, we've got all those characters built into us. Mm -hmm. But we only show what we think is appropriate. At the time that At you the need the time to. that you need it, because mm -hmm. it is a show. Yeah. It is your stage, and you dress for it appropriately. You go into your house, get a dress, and come back out and be who you want to be. Yeah. Because this is your show. It's brilliant, isn't it? It is, yeah. And they, they know this. Mm. They do, that's why they, they call know. it a dress code. Yeah, and, and it, it, it's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've had, um, we've had instances over thousands of years, who, men who wear dresses. Mm. And the men who, and the, and the Indians wear head dresses. Mm -hmm. But it's all dresses. Men in dresses appear to control the carry-on. Don't they? they can, mm -hmm. That they all wear a dress of some type, an actual cloak. Yeah. Or a cape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what do we call men who dress up as women? We call them... Drag. Drag. And they've got drag on. Drag on, yeah. They've got drag on, haven't they? They have, yeah. Men in drag, men in tights, drag ons. Mm-hmm. You think about that. You think about the fairy tales that we've been told over the years <laughs> about drag ons. Mm. We don't actually say our decode is the only decode. No, Because we learnt a long not. time ago that the codes work on every level it depends what level you're on yes so if you're listening to us and you're saying that makes no sense at all it's because you're not on the same level as us mm. now we're not fighting which level who's above who that's not what we're interested in all right it's whichever floor and story you're on yeah all right this is a multi-story lift it is. And you're in the lift and you try to lift yourself up to another floor and another story and as you go up every floor which is called a story has got less people but more knowledge on it mm -hmm. at the bottom we've got the most people with the least knowledge and at the top, we've got the least people with the most knowledge. And the trickle-down system, the tier, works. Yes. Yeah, the tier that trickles down. You see, you've got a tear in your eye and a tear that trickles down your face. Well, this is the tear that trickles down from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what comes out of the bottom? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. You see, it should be called the middle, shouldn't it? But it's not. It's called the bottom, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's not quite, but it's not the bottom, is it? It isn't the bottom. The, the, no. the sole of your foot should be the that bottom. should be the bottom. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. There is another connection that I'm not going to add to that, no. by the way. I'm not actually going to do another soul connection with the bottom. No. I think I've made it already without <laughs> yes, saying it. Without saying I think it, I yeah. have actually made it without <laughs> saying it, and I'm not going to say anything and, else. And we're surrounded by him. <laughs> <laughs> the soul our system. Yes. Turn that round. The, the, the soul our system. Turn that round and say it for yourself. You know? Everything is a mirror of everything else. It's got its equal and its opposite. Mm -hmm. And that works in the language all the time, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I put a, couple, a number of posts on Facebook this week just to try and generate a little bit of wordplay, haven't we? Yeah. And, and, and the one that I put on was um, um, draw, wasn't it? Was draw. Okay, and if you say to most people, you know, the word draw, what does the word draw mean? Play along with me here so, so this comes over okay. I will, yes. Right, yeah. Play along with me. What are most people going to say that the word draw actually means to them? Uh, you, this very st uh, first thing I thought of was a kitchen drawer. Right, okay. You keep things in it. That's an interesting, yeah, but that's not the first thing most people would come. No, children, no. Would, children would go with a sketch. A sketch, yeah. They would go with a, a, a pen or pe a, well, a pen or pencil sketch, a drawing. Mm. 
Yeah. You know, to draw is is mm-hmm. is is an active, isn't it? It's to yeah. act. To draw is mm. to act. And you said like a kitchen draw, but that's and people say, Oh, that's spelled differently. Yeah, but it sounds the same. <laughs> so it actually is the same. same yeah. It's a D R A W E R. Okay? But if you put draw, well turn the uh, uh around mm. and you get a draw. You get a draw, yeah. Because E R is E R is the word A and E R E R S is the word us. It, it is, yes. It's the word us. The language spins around like that. And this isn't a new language that we're speaking. I think we've got to make this very clear, haven't we? That yeah. this version that we speak today, called English, is just the very best update of the language that has always, always, always existed. Mm-hmm. This has not been created for us as a new language. It is a Windows update. Mm-hmm. It is the Safari update, whichever computer system you're on. Mm-hmm. The Windows update or the Safari update for the jungle that you live in. Mm-hmm. But don't worry, Amazon's got everything you need. <laughs> <laughs> Remember those fruit machines? And you always, you, you went in fruit, do you remember? You, you, you <laughs> one arm bandits, they were called, weren't they? They were, yeah. And uh, you put your money in and you press your buttons or pull your band, your arm, mm. as it were, and it gives you fruit, doesn't it? Always one by fruit. But the main one was what? Bar, bar, bar. It was, that was the big bar, payout, bar, was bar, yeah. bar, bar. Yeah, I wonder why, I wonder why a bar, bar, black sheep, have you only one, because I'm having it all. <laughs> but the word bar is the word war, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And war is in the word draw. So let's go back to draw. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to draw. Um, we can draw horses, draw carriages. They do. Taps, draw water. Draw water, yeah. But the Americans don't call them taps. No. The Americans call them... Faucets. Exactly. Now, the, I know the Americans spell it F-A-U-C-E-T, don't they? They do, yeah. But let's go on with the decipher or the decode the for decode, draw. The decode, yeah. And you realise that this F-A-U-C-E-T is just a cover story. Mm-hmm. So let's go on then. Theatres draw audiences. They do. Um, what the draws have we got? I'm just, I've lost which ones I've said and which ones I haven't. Yep. We've, do, we've done Gunmen the, draw, um, yeah. cowboys, cowboys draw, guns. draw. Now, there's an interesting one cowboys. Mm. That doesn't make sense, does it? Cows are girls. Yeah. Cows are girls and bulls are boys. Mm. So, why are we saying cowboys? <laughs> that doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> no, cows is girls. So, why do we call boys cows? Mm. Well, let's have got the word cow. Where's the word cow? The word cow is the word cower. And when you shoe mm. a, bu- a, a cow, it cowers. And they shoe us, don't they? Mm-hmm. We have shoes on our feet. Yeah, and you think, this isn't all connected. Yeah, it is. On our level. Mm-hmm. It is on our level. So the word to draw comes in all its guises, yep. and most people will think that this is a multi-use word. It means different things in different, different usages. Different contexts, yeah. yes. And they're right and wrong. Mm. Because what you need is the synonym, okay? The synonym is the overarching description of the word. Yeah. The syn- synonymous Mm-hmm. Right with the word is the connection which, to pull or to force, which is the noun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's what, and we we need to what we need to realise that these things are just there to fool us. These are spells. Mm. You know, when you go online and you install a new program, it says, "Would you like the wizard to help you?" <laughs> Doesn't it? Because <laughs> this is which is. That's where you get your choices. Mm-hmm. Which is it? Mm-hmm. Okay, which is. But you think it's pointy hats and black cats? Well, okay, it is for the pointy hats and black cats brigade. Not saying that at all. Black cats were, well, black cats and witches were were hunted in the 15th and 16th century. Who knows how many were uh, done away with? Mm. But back to draw. The word draw, its initial, it, it's 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 starting is pull or force. Mm-hmm. And now you say you say well, when you draw a sketch, okay, you actually show the people. And you want, you actually want their credit, don't you? You want, oh, well done, that's great, that's fantastic. Mm-hmm. So what you're asking is just, just, just pulling a compliment. Yeah, well, horses pull carriages, and theatres draw, draw them in, or pull a large crowd, don't they? Yeah. And taps, taps, yeah, through the pressure of the water, the water is forced out of it, so it's a faucet. Yeah. See, F-O-R-C-E-I-T, but no, they spell it a little bit differently, and you just don't quite get it. It is all connected. People say it isn't, but it obviously is. Because we can do this with every word, can't we? And the word draw is a spell of the word ward. ward. And we live in wards. Uh, the draw is pulled out. I just thought the draw that you said, that's, that, that, we pull it, don't we? We pull the draw out. We pull out. that and then we force so it back in. Force it, yeah. That's right. so it's all pull and force. The word draw is pull and force. That's its original meaning. Mm-hmm. The draw has just been added to, uh, to fool you. Yeah, I mean, football football sides can draw, can't they? They can, yeah. And that's where they've, it's like a tug of war, they've, they've agreed to draw. 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They've pulled and pulled and pulled, and they pull each other apart, and they haven't, no one's won. Mm-hmm. So it's a draw. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> I wish people would do words like that. <laughs> Just if people looked at words in a slightly different way, you can have some real fun with it, can't we? Mm-hmm. I mean, if we look at the big multinational Standard Oil New York company, it stands for Standard Oil New York, but we know it as Sony. Sony. Okay, Sony, S O N Y. And if you look at the adverts that they have, underneath Sony is, that Sony is in capital letters, and underneath in smaller letters, uh, lowercase type, is the word make, <laughs> full stop, believe. believe. Okay? Now, I know everybody watching, listening, won't have ever done this, but just put the word it before the word Sony, and then say it to yourself. What does he say? It's only make believe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and nobody sees that, do they? <laughs> you watch it, and even the awake crowd, even the awake and aware, you watch that and you say, I never saw that. <laughs> right in front of you. Mm-hmm. It's only make believe. Mm-hmm. But it's not that it's an illusion, it's that they actually make us believe it. Yeah. It's not a fairy tale in the way that a lot of people are describing this. They make reality. And then program us to believe it. Yep. Brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant, yeah. Round and round and round we go, arguing about what's right and what's wrong. Why? Why, yeah. You're listening to The Unpenned Show with Paul and Andy, broadcasting live around the world. We believe freedom is free. It is enslavement that you're paying for. If you ain't mad by now, you're not paying attention. So, welcome back to the show. It is Tuesday, the 9th of July, 2013. We are live on Awake Radio and simulcasting on Blog Talk as well. So, good evening to both sets of listeners, and thank you for doing so. Now then, we have... Um, just You might be not switched on. Turn yourself on, fella. Am I on now? You are. There we yeah, are. Okay. Thank you. T- turn yourself on. No, don't, not, not, now. <laughs> not that not way. Not, yeah, that. exactly. Um, <laughs> back to drawing. Back to drawing. Well, we always say back to the drawing board, don't we? We do. And when we're, when we're little ones, when we're little ones, do you remember we... We get taught in a certain way, don't we, when we're little? Now, we always say that we're fish, and mm-hmm. we are the fish. We were thrown overboard a long time ago, and getting back on board is very difficult. Mm-hmm. Okay, you've got to get yourself, you've got to stop drowning, which means get out of debt. Then you've got to get smart. Okay, yeah. Noah and his, his ark, you've got to start building the ark to get to dry land. Okay, because this is the second great flood that we're living in, and it's a flood of debt and ignorance. Mm-hmm. And if you remember, when you're really small, um, we'll do a little bit of fish analogy. I haven't done this for a long time. But do you remember, we're fish and we're swimming. And we, we know what John Maxwell says about the coming out of your mother's water and down the canal. He's not wrong. No, he's, he's not. He's actually not wrong at all. But there is something else. He, he never goes any further with it. And I wonder why he doesn't go any further. Because if he's figured that much out, he should have figured the rest out as well. But he never gives you the rest. And just going off subjects a little bit, and I'm only going to tell you my experience with Jordan Maxwell. We've been on air now for about a year, and uh, I was brave enough to contact all the big names in the first six months. Mm-hmm. I actually contacted every single one of them, didn't I? Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah. Jordan Maxwell... I've emailed him three times, and in January of this year, he was on uh, another radio station. Uh, he was back doing his first interview for quite a long time. He was telling people that his website had been stolen and his work had been stolen, and he was really up on his uppers. So I thought, okay, I'm going to send him a small donation, and he gave out the specific details of how to send him a donation. So the very day I sent, the very day after. I sent a donation with an email saying that I was delighted to hear him back on the radio. He was very much um, responsible for my understanding in the early days. Mm -hmm. And if I hadn't listened to John, I wouldn't have gone down the path that I did. So I thanked him very much and sent him, I sent him 50 quid actually. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, 50 quid I sent. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. No. Now I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Because we've emailed him in the past and he just refused to talk to us and we said, okay, he doesn't have to reply to everybody, but it would be a courtesy. But anyway, he always says, I don't get, you know, I rep- I, I'll give you my home phone number. You can email me. I reply to all emails. It's not true. Okay, he doesn't. He no. doesn't. Twice I emailed him, no reply at all. Third time I emailed, emailed him with a donation to the very, very place that he said. And 24 hours later, I, the donation went all right. Nothing. Now, I know he doesn't have to say thanks very much. But that's not the way we do things in this movie. No, we, do, we don't do it like that, do we? No, we, we don't do it like that. We're meant to have common courtesy. Hmm. Yeah. Now, I know people will come up with, uh, John Maxwell's not a good guy, blah, blah, blah. Leave that alone. Leave, yeah, we're not doing we're not that. that. I'm going to tell you my personal experience. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to share experience with you. 
Now, we know that as the word sex. Mm -hmm. Now, we think sex is just the act of, you don't have to love them, just have sex. You know, mm -hmm. it's just a recreational pastime nowadays. Mm -hmm. And maybe it always was. Maybe we look back with rose-tinted spectacles thinking that we were better versions of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We were different versions, but I'm not sure we were better. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure at all. We were certainly different, though. But the word sex is shared experience. Now, I'm sharing my experience with you guys now. And uh, that's, that's my experience with Jordan Maxwell. But going back to the analogy of the, we're born in water, okay, we're through the stages of pregnancy and, and, and the actual fetus itself. And look yep. at the word fetus. Mm -hmm. Look at the word fetus. We have to look at that word. It's got the word for to us in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And they, they want to defeat us. They knock do. us off our feet. They do. Defeat us. Mm -hmm. They call it a fetus, but they want to defeat us, mm -hmm. just as in chess. You'll knock them over, aren't you? you are, when you're yeah. playing chess, and this is a global game of chess that we're playing, whether you choose it or not, it is. This is a global game of chess, and when you're winning in chess, you knock the pieces over as you take them off, don't you? You do, yeah. They knock them off the feet. Mm -hmm. Defeat us. And we're called a fetus. Yep. Yeah, and it's, it's born in a uterus. Yeah? Yeah. And when they want to stop us being born, they neuter us. They do. These words are all connected, but nobody does this for us. Why don't they do it? Because this is the language they share to themselves. This is how they communicate with each other. They give us a fluffy version of language that makes perfect sense to children. Mm. And that's what they keep us as. They do. They keep us as the, the watch with mother. Mm. Which window do you want to look through today? Whether you're looking through Bill Gates's window at the moment, you or you're looking through Steve Jobs, well, Apple. Mm. And look at, look at the signature on that Apple. It's got a bite out of it. Yes. It's telling you... you <laughs> there is no doubt they do tell us. <laughs> do we? And we cannot resist. Right in front of your we face. We cannot resist. Hide we, it in plain sight. Yeah, that, well, that's what, we, that's what we do these shows for sometimes. Yeah. This is turned into a fun yeah. language deco it's show. Well, sometimes we do these, sometimes we don't. Well, that's, what they did with, that's what they've done with the language. We speak it every day and not realise... We speak our own, f our, our own destiny we into, into reality. reality. Because we think we're saying one thing, when the fact of the matter is that we're, we're carrying a brand new computer through the front door, mm -hmm. but it's got a back door ready for... Well, yeah. it, they're, it, they're coming through the back door and mm -hmm. steal everything. Yeah. Well, and we're horned into it, aren't we? we? We're surrounded by a plethora of new stories. That, and that's all they are. They're just stories. We don't know if they're true or not. I don't, I don't even care if they're true or not. But, but we fight about uh, whether they are. We, we are. are. That's it. We're so -so horned that, into it. So-and-so that I believe said so it was true. Mm. Well, so and so that I believe said this version: mm. red wine's good for you, red wine's bad for you, mm. beer's good for you. They have us at each other's throats. Flitting, it's a duel. It's a it's a duality. A constant duel and duality is. that's it going is. on. It is, and it's like the cowboys doing the draw. Duel. It's a duel. Yeah. And what do they use in that duel? They use a revolver. They do round and round and, and round, round we go. and round we go. And they yeah. put rounds, or called bullets, bullets, called rounds in into the, the chamber. Into the chamber. And the chamber is where the verdict is delivered. It is. So and simple. And they spin that revolver around so you can get another <laughs> bullet there to fire your bullet. And that's all we do all day on Fightbook, firing bullets off. And where have we got this information from? From magazines. Magazines, yes, and of course. where magazines. do you keep your bullets? You, you keep them in, in a magazine. magazine. It oh. just... <laughs> and they've got us fighting over different little things. They've got us fighting over things that don't day. bloody matter. They don't matter, yes. It doesn't bloody matter. It doesn't matter, no. What matters is what we're doing to make our world different. Mm, yes. Because we, the world is not banging on our front door saying, please change me, is it? No. And the one thing we don't like is being told what to do. Mm -hmm. We actually, we're here now because we don't like being ruled by our rulers with the rules that we don't like. Mm -hmm. And then we go and tell other people what to do. <laughs> it doesn't make any <laughs> sense, does it? <laughs> You've got to be attractive. You've mm -hmm. got to be attractive. Yeah. And we are nothing but little fish in this shark's tail. Mm -hmm. Because the loan sharks are taking this, they're taking us all down. Yeah, yeah. We do need a Noah, and that's a K N O W E R. Yeah, Noah. That type of Noah, a yeah. Noah, somebody who knows. Mm -hmm. If you think politics is the answer, you've got a long way to go yet. Mm -hmm. You've got a long, long way to go. Politics is the many parasites that feed off us. They, they, they feed off us. And they have we don't need them, but they, they need, need us, us because we are their daily bread. Um, they need us, be they listen, they need us because we do. are their daily bread. Mm -hmm. Give us this day our daily bread yeah. and lead us not into temptation. Mm -hmm. We're connecting this up very mm -hmm. well this evening. And we've got... And uh, deliver us from evil. And they've, they've got to prove things to us, don't they? The and Lord's you, Prayer. What the Lord's... To they prove were bread. Yeah. yeah, they do we need to prove bread. And it he rises does. and falls and rises again, it doesn't does, it? Yes. It actually... <laughs> <laughs> they rise and they fall. They rise and they fall and it rises again. Mm. I know. Yeah. That's fish... 
Right, fish. Fish, yeah. Fish. You, you got me off it. I'm back I on it. Fish. Five John. loaves and five fishes. Two fishes. It's two, two fishes. Only two fishes. It's well, majority. Two. Yes, that's it. It's two. Five you loaves, see, two you, fishes. You know downstairs in my shop when I'm busy. Yeah. I say, I'll tell you what, I am knocking, I'm knocking this up, this all out <laughs> with two fish and five, five loaves, loaves of bread. <laughs> and I'm going to have put on the back of my T-shirt, General Operations Director. <laughs> but I can't afford all the letters, so I'm going to abbreviate it. <laughs> <laughs> All the letters won't fit on. <laughs> I'm sure does that bro. Fish, enough. pack it in. Right, yeah, fish, fish. Right, fish. From the mother's water, down the canal, into into what we call reality. Mm. Birthed. Okay. Deli- birthed. Delivered by the dock. Yeah. Mm. All right, they're delivered by the doctor. Now, Jordan does all this. He does all this, and we, we, we get it. Yeah. But he doesn't move on with the swimming. Okay, the first thing that we, we, we've got to teach our little fish to swim. Well, the first thing he does is he learns to stroke the breast, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. This is the breast stroke. Because he has to feed himself. Yeah. Okay, and the, our little fish's first uh, inclination uh, is, is to stroke the breast and feed. Mm-hmm. And an interesting fact about breasts is it doesn't actually matter. The size of a woman's breast is not indicative of how much mi- milk she can produce, do you know that? Um, I did, yes. Yeah, it's not indicative at all. The, the ladies with the bigger chests. Doesn't mean that doesn't mean doesn't mean more milk. No, No. it doesn't at all. No, we digress. It it does. It comes from a different part, doesn't it? It does. That's only the that's only the teat, as it were. It is the teat. So it can be delivered. The milk can be delivered. Anyway, our little fish has to learn to stroke the breast. Yep. And then our little fish has to learn to crawl. Mm -hmm. Well, those are the two first swimming strokes that we're taught, aren't we? They certainly are. They certainly are. And then they have to get themselves up, Mm -hmm. up off the ground, with their arms, Mm -hmm. on their legs. And stand upright. They have to use the power. Yeah. Then they have to learn to navigate. So they go to school and get the very instruments they need. Mm-hmm. Well, not so much now. No. But we used to get a compass, a ruler, and a square, didn't we? We did, yeah. A pen, pencil, compass, ruler, and a square. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what you need to navigate. Mm-hmm. And then as you get older, you need to learn the power of the wind, mm-hmm. pipe, the force of the air. Yeah. Because you're all little sailors, aren't you, really? Mm-hmm. We're all trying to be little sailors. But they won't let us get up. They won't. They keep us down. Mm-hmm. We use our arms like the army does, and we try to navigate like the navy does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've even called a navel, isn't it? Your belly button's called a navel because it's it's halfway in and halfway out. Yeah. Yeah, and then we need to use the force of the air to negotiate our sails. Yep. And that's what everybody is—a salesman, mm-hmm. a man of sail, and everything around us is for sale. People still think I'm talking rubbish, don't they? <laughs> they still don't get it, do they? Still, and I, I just raise my eyebrows and I smile and I think, why don't you get it? Why don't you actually see that this story has been encoded into our lives? People are looking for martial law. We've been under martial law. We're, we're in a naval control system. We are, yes. This is a maritime control system. It certainly is. And it's all been played with a very single word called person. Mm-hmm. It's the person. It starts from persona to personality to person which is a vehicle that's called you, that they tax. Mm -hmm. Tax I. Yeah, that's Mm. what a tax I is. Mm. Well, tax us is the you, isn't it, Mm Y-E-W? You see, but we think Y-O-U is is us. So why do we have (laughs) E-W-E? Yeah, you see. (laughs) Then we have the word U-S-E. Use. Mm. No, it's use. (laughs) All right, if it's use, that's fine. So why's it got use? Mm Mm-hmm. Different context, different 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 letter set up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sounds like E W E S. It does sound like yeah, E W E S. They treat us like use and users. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we are used to them. We we don't understand this very well, do we? No. And yet it couldn't be more bloody obvious, could it? No, it couldn't. No, no. They... Now we try and bill ourselves, don't we, as a news program? And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes we, we do some. We do an odd news story, been known and now I, and then. <laughs> listen, listen back to last week's. I have noticed that loads of shows are not doing the news. <laughs> and then we didn't do any. <laughs> <laughs> that was just to test if people we didn't were listening. We didn't do any. <laughs> Good God. I, I, I do smile. I'm I, I talking about contradictory and uh, trip myself up going backwards. Mm. Yeah, we do. But... We we could lead into a new story actually with the fish because fish are cannibalistic. They are, and fish eat fish. Mm. And once they get us um, eating each other, which um, they have, which they have, and and I'm sure they would love would love to push it 
even further. But we're linking into the GMO well, stuff. Think of the fish. Think of the, see, the last stop before we got this language was France, wasn't it? Yeah. It's travelled through a well, well-known well path that Empire's taken. Mm-hmm. And it hopped the channel and turned into what we have today. Yeah. And the French word for fish is... Poisson. Poisson. <laughs> what sounds like... Uh, mm. What are we drinking tonight? What's your poison tonight? Yeah, exactly. Paul? What's your poison, fella? All yeah. oh, right, I'm on a, What's your I'm poison? On a can of John Smith yeah, tonight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, poison, poisson. You think, no, 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 <laughs> no. You're just no, making no, it no, up you're now. You're making it up now. Yeah. All these collections are silly. Mm, radio tune. All right, I know Radio tune did the last week, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> the bloody great big bloody pig fish <laughs> with one cracking b- bloody massive mm, eye looking at you. Looks like a big radio red Radio tune on bloody line, <laughs> surfing in the net, getting on your key to board with a fish filter, and d- they've got ports at the bloody back, back yeah. and people still think it's bullshit. Back to... <laughs> where were we? Um... You've lost me now, I can't even remember. Fish, oh, fish and <laughs> cannibalism. It's a, it's a, it, it's cannibalistic. That's what they've got us down to. They've got rubbish memories, haven't they, fish? Yeah, they have, yeah. <laughs> hand up, hand up, hand, hand, hand up. Anybody <laughs> yes, me. <It> is. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've just confirmed that clearly, don't you? Yeah. But yeah, the f- we, we do eat each other, we are. We're living in a predators. Mm. We're living in a predatory society, predator all designed by the money system. Mm. And we're taught to pray, mm. to be pray. Yeah. P-R-A-Y, P-R-E-Y. Okay, when you sit down to pray, imagine that pose. You're on your knees, hands, in, uh, hands clasped together, pushed up to your nose, pointing towards your temple. Yeah? Mm. What does begging look like? Mm. What does begging look like? You call it praying. I call it begging. Mm. Begging for someone to come and save, save your, your very soul. Mm. Save your... That's what you're begging for. Yeah. Well, he hasn't turned up for a while, has he? No. Now, we don't know if he turned up at all. And the devil clip we play at the beginning of the show. It's just the stage character, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We've got good versus evil good versus and God evil. versus the devil. Yeah. God is good. You get told that a load of times. But temptation... We can resist everything but temptation, can't we? Yeah. Sang by Heaven 17. <laughs> it is a heavy burden, isn't it, to resist, resist temptation, because we live in the land of it. We do, yeah. This, yeah. this is the land of temptation. It's not the land of the free, really. We've never been free. If you've just discovered you're a slave, well done. Yeah. You've always been a slave. Always have. Don't get excited. Don't get too upset. Don't run around like a headless chicken. Don't lose your head. It's just you that figured this out today. Everybody else has known it for a long, long, long time. And they're okay with it because they think they're on the winning team. Mm -hmm. And at this moment in time, they are. Now, history teaches us that more and more people lose as time goes by. But we don't live long enough to see the cycle complete. We just get to be a little part of it, don't we? Yeah. We get to be a little section of the cycle. And if you see it as the hour on the clock or the year on the calendar... We only live one um, astrological day, don't we? Yeah. <coughs> because an astrological day, one degree in time, in it's star time, is 72, 72 years. Degrees, yeah. 72 years. Two years, yeah. Yeah, 72 years. And 72 years, or 72 times 30, yeah, is 2160, which is the defined length of an age, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And that is an age. And we're moving from one age to the other. But we're not going to live long enough to see it. We're going to just... Play a little part of it. Yeah. So instead of trying to learn it all, just learn the bit that you need. And the bit that you need is the interesting bit because the interest is what you're trying to spread. Wow, yeah. Now, the banks want the interest in a monetary form. They do. That's all they're bothered about. Mm. They want you to be in as much debt as possible because they're interested in the bit that exists, which yeah. is the interest. The other stuff they made up. Now, they're not really bothered about you paying that stuff back. Because they made it up from fresh air. Yep. And they just take it on the government's tab and let everybody pay it. Because mm. that's socialism, communism, fascism. Now, you're, you might be learning what those systems of control are. And they're all varying degrees of totalitarian control. Yep. And they've been practised throughout history forever. They have, yes. And, and we really need to sometimes just take a little bit of a step back and say, we cannot learn all this in one go. We cannot achieve this in one lifetime. So we can specialise and get really good at one part of it. Or we can generalise and try and attract some more listeners. And it is a type of religion. Because it's a system of belief in. Okay? And belief, 
Listen to that word belief. All right? Think of the tree of knowledge. The real tree of knowledge. Mm. The one that's growing in your head. You see, when, you, when you're little, you draw trees. And I don't know if you remember doing this, but I remember drawing this. When you want to draw a tree when you're little, there's a little cheap way to do it. And you start off with a big letter Y. Yeah. And then you put another Y on it. Yeah. And then you put another Y on the end there. Mm. And another Y on the end there. And it's not by mistake, is it? No. It's not by mistake that a number of Ys build the connections to the tree to that the you've tree just drawn when you were little. Yeah. So it's the why is, men. It's yeah. the why is what you want to know. So you can actually be a leaf on the growing tree of knowledge that you're trying to share with others. Mm. Yeah. So don't get upset if you're in a different orchard to everybody else. Apples and oranges, yeah, pears and plums. Find who, who, you, who you can share with and, and share value with and get on with it. Yeah. Don't try and know it all. You can't know it all. But you can be a knower and help save those that want to know. Yep. So be a knower and then be a sure and then go and do it. This is just the, this is the relaxing part. This is the sharing what you know over a beer, which is what we're doing. Yeah. And what do we do all day? We try and attract, don't we? We do, we yeah. We put on our shows and mm -hmm. we're getting better at it. <laughs> or at least we're trying. We're trying to get better, we're trying at, to get better it, yeah. at it. I mean, there's no better congratulations than self congratulations. No. <laughs> and uh, although we profess to be complete amateurs, we're a lot more comfortable doing this now. Mm, yeah. So, you know, we, we just don't get frustrated, don't get annoyed. You found this. Congratulations. Now you have to ask, why has it found me? Because you didn't find it. It's always been here. It, it, has. it attracted you. Yeah. All right, you didn't find it, it attracted you. Yeah, you just so, dug it up. Yeah, you, you're the one that's gone searching for it. Yeah. You've researched for something that already existed, but it was planted in your garden, and now you've researched it, and you've found the seed, and now this seed, you're going to suck it. Mm. And are you going to suck seed? Well, if you keep sucking this seed to excess, you might find success. And if you keep sucking it until you're full, you'll be successful. Mm. All right, but yeah. what are you growing? What are you growing? Because this tree of life needs a little bit of watering every now and again. Okay, we need to water it. We need to grow it properly. Otherwise, it'll grow up ugly and misformed. And yeah. it'll soon die. Mm. Because that's what we're growing. You're growing an internal you. You're growing the you that might be some useful. Or some use mm. when you've done with the outside. Can we, can we... No, we can't, can we? We don't know. No. But I just look at it this way. If there is something afterwards... I hope I've got uh, the kit, you know, the, 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 I can pass the entry exam yeah. to get in. The necessary credentials exactly. to uh, carry on a bit That's further. Right. Uh -huh. But <laughs> if I haven't, I think we'll just get sent back. Yes. You know, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know. That's where reincarnation <laughs> comes from. Yeah. I, but I won't know I'm sent back, I just no. won't be good enough to get to the next level. Yeah. And because life is stacked on levels, with the, the most knowledge and the least number at the top, and the least knowledge and the most number at the bottom, because we've stacked it like that, mm. it does make sense that it may well exist yeah. like that elsewhere. Elsewhere, yeah. Because we've made it this way, and we say, that, well, I'm not including myself, we. We live in it. But we do give our controllers too much credit. We do give them far too much credit. Th they yeah. know about us. They know our weaknesses, mm. and they know every man has his price. Yeah. Now, there <laughs> are people listening saying, I will never succumb to the New World Order. How much before you start saying, um, no, how much? There will never be enough. Well, there speaks a man who knows he's never going to get the chance. Mm. Right? There speaks a man who knows he's never going to get the opportunity. Now, we spoke about this earlier, didn't we? We did, yeah. And, and I said to myself, what I said to you, I said, uh, Joe, sometimes I wonder if I got a knock on the door and someone said, look, here's a million quid. Stop doing that radio show. It's not helping. And I said, uh, how long would it take me to think about this million pounds? I would just give it a minute's thought, and I'd think, even if I took it, mm. even if I took it, my life would be over. Because they'd be back next week, and they'd want something. Yes, they would. They'd want something. Because they bought you. Because you've sold out. S-O-U-L-E-D. Mm -hmm. Sold, sold out. Mm. They'll be back next week. 
Mm. You know that radio show? We perhaps would like you to keep going, but perhaps we'd like you to take it in a different direction. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is hypothetical. This is not me dreaming, okay? But you see what I mean? Mm. The, 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 the return of the instant gratification, the I want it now society, the uh, if I don't take it, somebody else will. Mm. I should take it so I can look after my children. I, I deserve it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's prevailing throughout society now. Mm -hmm. And maybe it always did. Maybe, maybe we need to start saying, why is it the elites are never good at football, basketball, cricket, mm -hmm. right, or any sports that we take part in? Yeah. Why not? It's because they weren't playing out at playtime, were they? <laughs> they were sat in the, the, the library mm. or whatever. No, warming playing chess. Seat, oh, yeah. well, who not, well, exactly, yeah. you've gone, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or warming somebody's seat. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little line in there, my friend. But they didn't come out to play at playtime. They weren't the getters of the girls, were they? Politics is show business for ugly people. Yeah. And those are the people at school that were the geeks. Mm -hmm. And they've figured out a system for geeks, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, because they're the devil ants. These are the devil ants who work for the system. We we'll use the word deviants. Mm. But they've learned to... They've got access to information about who we are that predates us. Predates us. Mm -hmm. Predates us. Predators. Predators. Yeah. They learn how to be predators. Mm -hmm. They learn how to instruct yeah. the, the force brigade, the bullies. Mm -hmm. They learn how to utilize and manipulate the yeah. system that exists mm -hmm. to elevate them to a life of comfort and luxury. Yeah. That's how this works. Mm. They predate us. They're and really... They're feeding off us back to the cannibalistic society. Ex society. Except the corruption yeah. is, now, is now becoming endemic, isn't it? Mm. It's a pandemic. It is... Everybody is on the take. Yeah. There are a few good men left in politics. But I don't hear many of them speaking up. I don't hear them speaking. Mm. I can't hear their voices. I can't hear them fighting. I can't hear them. Can you? No. No. Guys, order another round because we're staying here. Yeah. yeah. What was I thinking going back to Ant Island? I mean, we just got here and we have more than enough food to get us through the winter, right? Why go back? But there was that ant that stood up to me. Yeah, but we can forget about him. Yeah, it was just one ant. <laughs> Ooh, one ant. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's just one ant. Yeah, boys, they're puny. Hmm, puny? Say, let's pretend this brain is a puny little ant. Did that hurt? <laughs> nope. Well, how about this one? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> How about this? You let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. That's why we're going back. Does anybody else want to stay? He's quite the motivational speaker, isn't he? Let's ride! A very well used clip then from um, A Bug's Life, the, the Grasshopper clip. A well used clip, but we, week after week after week, we try and make shows that you're not embarrassed to play to somebody else, don't we? Yeah. Because there are some great shows out there that, that really do bring people on who are actually awake and aware, as we say, or as the station's motto is. But there are many people out there who are absolutely frightened to death to even dip their foot in the water. Yeah. They're actually sat by the edge of the swimming pool, even scared to go in the shallow end, aren't they? Yep. What do we call small fish? Fry. We do. We do. When we fry small fish, I fry them. Mm -hmm. I actually fry small fish. I put them into what's called a batter boat, batter the hell out of them, bloody burn them. Mm -hmm. And that's not by mistake either. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. The, the analogies and connections that we talk about 
all are real if you choose to see them and they're not if you don't that's how it works the grasshopper movie the bug's life you can't say they don't tell us i mean we do this week after week after week and every week i keep saying the same thing we're being told we are we have been told in no uncertain terms what the future will bring unless we act in a certain way yep but there is a little bit of a kicker at the end of every film that we watch and that is that somebody else comes to save the day Yes. It's just religion, isn't it? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> else comes to save the bloody day, so <laughs> relax, put the kettle on, the film's over in 15 minutes, you know the good guy's going to win, no mm. matter how much trouble he's in now, he's going to save the day. Even Bruce Willis, at 60 odd years old, can still pull it out of the bag right at the end. Yeah. It's just religion. Mm. It's just updated religion. We've got to see it for what it is. Mm. We've got to stop fighting about whose religion is best. We need to go back and say, okay, this lovely blue planet, who put the countries on? Who put the lines on? Right, who designed which religion? Who wrote the book, which is very similar to the other book, with just a few changes, <laughs> just a few changes, but all really seem to be mm. written from what appears to be a mm. similar type story. Do they all have the line in, though, God saves them that help themselves? I don't know about all of them, but I think it's, it's there to it's, be... It must have a yeah, line but, very similar to that in each all, and every one of them. All religions... Tell us what we're doing wrong, show us where we're going wrong, then allow us to keep doing it because someone else is going to save us. Yeah. Well, that's what it's all about. Who put the lines on the planet? Who divided them right? All religions are called denominations, which is money, they're given flags, and they're told. Why? We've got to go back to that point and think. Yes. Because they've got a different language in every country. Mm -hmm. Who worked out how to give them all a different language but the same control method? <laughs> Very clever, isn't it? Is, yeah. They all got different languages, but the same control method. Now, just take a moment of your day to understand how much control was already in place yeah. at that moment in time, mm. somewhere between two to four thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. They're all following the basic same story with the basic religious setup. And all taught that they've got the right guy and everybody else is following the wrong guy. Yes. <laughs> now think about that because all religions are called orders. And who <laughs> they get in them from. <laughs> who they get in them from. Who they get in them from. We never actually just take a moment sometimes to see reality for what it, it, it must be. It must be that this system has been in place for two to four thousand years. And for us to use the spies who don't love us with the back doors that let they come in that they, they come in and thieve from us all day yeah and that is thieving our very privacy which has no value to you give it away and they can use it against you now they can change what we've done on this computer now they can put on that computer or that computer or that one they can get into the back door and i could be accused of all sorts yeah because we're getting down to the point now of you're guilty unless you can afford to prove yourself innocent. Yes. And only one piece of evidence is, prov is needed for a conviction. Mm -hmm. Everybody who says, if you've nothing to hide, you've yeah, nothing to nothing. worry about, don't stand too close when you say that to me. Don't stand too close because I'm getting to the point of wanting to slap you. I'm mm. wanting to get wanting to slap people and say, you bloody coward. You're saying that because what you're really saying inside is, don't come and look at me, I'm not doing nothing wrong, mm -hmm. I'm okay, I'm, I'm following the rules, I'm doing as I'm told. Mm hmm that's what they're really saying mm. we're here now this is where we live this is the date and once the day is gone you've got another go tomorrow you get another present called now yeah and it's here tomorrow and the present is a gift and we get a new one every day mm -hmm. and most people waste it doing things that don't really have any value and people who don't have any money it's because they don't have any value now it sounds like I've been a bit eugenicist here and to a point I am, because this is the way it's going to be turned on us eventually. Eventually, as society becomes more and more poor, society is going to look down on those that are less fortunate. Now, those that are less fortunate, they need to actually learn that this, this, this is their time more than any other time. Yeah. They understand this better than those that haven't got here yet. But the less fortunate have got to be able to help those that are falling. Okay, those that didn't think they were going to fall, those that didn't think that this was going to apply to them, you've got to be the friend they didn't know you they needed because they never saw you as equal. This is an equality-based system, <laughs> and, it's, and it's all based on who you think you're equal with. 
and mm. it, you, you, can, you, can, you can argue back with me if you want to. You mix with people just like you. No matter who you are listening, you mix with like-minded, similar financial um, ability and earning power, you, people who have, have similar circumstances in most, most occasions. You mix with people like you. Now, people who are above you, you have to work hard to get up to that level to join their club. Mm -hmm. And people who don't have as much as you have, you don't mix with those, do you? No. You stay at your level. Mm -hmm. Or you try and climb up a level, if you can, by joining the golf club and other secret societies and general clubs. You try and, you try and climb up using the clubs. Mm -hmm. Well, clubs are the very things that we used to batter each other with, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, the very first are, thing yeah. we picked up and hit each other with. Mm -hmm. But that's not really where I'm going here. What I'm going is the friends that you have are probably equal to you in most ways, which is why you're friends. But you're going to stay there. You're not going to collectively raise yourself up to be better. You're going to just be friends. Yeah. And all friends look at each other in a way of, am I benefiting from this relationship? That's why you have friends. Because you share. Yeah. But most friends share gossip and parties and uh, holidays. But we don't share knowledge, do we? No. We don't share no. knowledge. Now, if knowledge is power... There's a lot of people that haven't got any. Mm. We are powerless. I, mean, I was going to say, remember, there's a lot of people who haven't got any money who say they're very smart. Well, if knowledge is power, that doesn't sit right, does it? Where'd you get your knowledge from? Well, you got it from somebody else. Right. How's this waking people up going? <laughs> How's the waking people up going for you then? How many people have you woke up? Or how many enemies have you made? Because it's a darn sight easier to make enemies it is, yeah. than it is to make friends when you're sharing this stuff. Mm. Now, I know a lot of people who, who might not have never heard people talking like this before because it never occurred to me until recently. The way we speak is normal to you and I and completely bloody alien to most people, isn't mm -hmm. it? It is, yeah. So anybody who's got this far in the hour, hour and a half that we're going to do, well done. Well done, because I am talking to you. I am saying that, you know... you. you I remember when I first started, I used to have this wonderful saying, I'm learning things I didn't know I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know I didn't know this. And I think I, I should have known it. Should have known it, yeah. Yeah, and I didn't know I didn't know it. And it was just, for me, it was, well, it was a hell of an apprenticeship. We both went through it about the same time, didn't we? Yeah. I don't know if I'd be as uh, calm and comfortable now if it wasn't for meeting you, like... <laughs> Because we went on some roller coasters. Oh, we have, yeah. We did go on some roller coasters. Mm. And uh, every fairground ride is designed to tell us that it's a ground and it's fair and we should take part and enjoy the lights, the sound, the music and the challenges. Well, it's all rigged, isn't it? It's all rigged. It's all one big bloody casino, isn't it? Yeah. Now, we picked on a news story last week. And uh, I don't think perhaps I did it the justice that I should have done. And that was the Ritalin one. Yeah. The, the, the kids, I mean... The, the ADHD. It, it really did bother me that... And 800,000 parents, 800,000 kids, sorry, are... Uh, <sighs> they're agreeing to the kids being put on... Um, mm. it, it really bothers me, this. I'm just looking for it now, because it yeah, is a made-up... It is a made-up... Uh, a, a man in a white coat made it up. Well, yeah, and he actually admits that it he does. did make it up. We haven't yeah. got it, actually. I know what it is, but it's not actually hanging on our psychopath's lair wall. Right, no. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's not yeah. on the wall. But it, how can you tell people that Ritalin has been prescribed... I mean, there's an 800-900% increase in drugging children to go to school. Mm. Now, the disease itself gives you... The name of the disease tells you... Yeah. Attention deficit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids need their mums and dads. Yep. And if they don't have their mums and dads, they haven't got that bond, that all-important bond. Because there is something that changes you when you become a parent, and you know that you're never going to change back. Something happens, doesn't it? It does. I was there at the birth of my daughter, mm. and I got to cut the cord, and I got to hold her. And there was this little vac packed, okay. turning pink in front of my very eyes. Mm. New little girl. Mm. And it was a sensation, it was something... I, I don't have the words, I'm not educated enough to have the words to do this. But I really want people to... to 
Ritalin, drugging your kids to go to school. It's it's not it's not right. It, it, we shouldn't be doing this. No. There's something wrong with the education there is system. Definitely wrong with that. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Maya. She was a bright, energetic young lady. Everybody thought Maya would do great things one day. Today was a special day. It was the first day of school, and Maya was looking forward to all the new things she would learn this year. But this year was not going to be exactly what Maya expected. Something was different this year. Something in school was not quite right. Maya was still learning how to read and write, and even though her homework was full of spelling mistakes, her teacher gave her a gold star. The teacher did not ask Maya to correct her spelling. Maya's mother asked the teacher why her daughter got a gold star. The teacher said that marking the spelling wrong would hurt the child's self-esteem. In the modern way of schooling, there was no right and no wrong. They now have a new way of spelling called invented spelling. She explained that the kids could spell words any way they liked. It's all correct because it's all creative. In some of the more advanced classes, they even use this method of no wrong or right in math. This way, two plus two could equal five and no one's feelings would be hurt. Even though this seemed odd to Maya's mother, she didn't question the teacher. After all, the teacher is the professional and surely she knows what she's doing. By the second month in school, Maya came home looking very down. She no longer was as happy as she used to be. Her mom didn't know that Maya was learning a subject called deaf education. All that talk about death gave Maya nightmares and made her nervous all the time. When her mom found out about deaf ed, it confused her. She didn't understand why young children were being taught about death. But she didn't say anything because, after all, the teacher was the professional. And surely, she knows what she is doing. On the sixth week of school, Maya's mom found a test in Maya's backpack. The test was marked, not to be taken home. Her mom looked over the test and found questions about her personal thoughts. Do you sometimes get nervous talking in front of class? Do you ever get depressed? Do you feel like your parents are abusing you? Upon further research, Maya's mom found out that this was a psychological test given to the students without the parents' consent. The kids were offered pizza or movie tickets if they filled out all the answers. Investigating further, she found out that if the child was evaluated as high risk for depression, she would be sent to the school counselor, who would then tell the parents that the child needed medication. She also found out that most of the kids taking the test had mental problems, and that they would all be asked to see the psychologist. Maya's mother was alarmed, but she let Maya see the counselor. She was worried about her little girl and felt she might need help. And after all, the counselor is a professional, and if he says Maya needs medicine, he must know what he's doing. The psychologist recommended Maya be put on a drug that would cure the chemical imbalance in her brain. The fact that she was never tested for such an imbalance didn't occur to her mom. The doctor was a professional. So each day before school, Maya would line up with all the other kids who also needed medication. A day after she started taking her meds, Maya was having more nightmares and weird thoughts. She didn't look right to her mother. So they went back to the doctor who put Maya on a different drug. Even though she went along with all this, Maya's mom was confused. How could her daughter be getting high grades but not know how to read or write or do math? And why was her little girl who was so happy and energetic now so quiet and sleepy all the time? The teacher was pleased. Maya no longer spoke out in class and seemed to be more focused on her work. Do you know that still bothers me a great deal? Mm. It really does yeah. bother me. Because here we are. Mm. 
here we are. Parents have lost have lost what it is to be a parent, mm. uh, and and I am criticising them. I am, mm. and they can say we're, we're too busy, life's too hard, the children are watching watching things that are making them unruly. Mm. They're just abdicating their responsibilities. Yeah, the ability to respond to what's going on, they don't have the ability to respond, so they say it's not their responsibility, and they hand it over to schools. Yeah, it's. Um, yeah. I I had a similar experience with my daughter. Uh, she started nursery. And uh, at three years old, and we um, at home, she'd had the sandpit, she'd had the plane in the water. Uh -huh. uh, she had a favourite book. I can still remember. She's twenty. She's twenty-four <laughs> now, and I can still remember a, a book that she used to have a bedtime story, uh -huh. and it was called the Backyard Band from Clancy Street. It was, a, <laughs> it was a little poem about uh, the kids had made their own little band with roll-up newspaper and uh, kazoo's and and bits of. Uh, paper wrapped round combs and things, yep, yep. and and she uh, she couldn't read, but she I I used to sit there and hold the book open, and I said, right, Katie, you you point to the words that I'm speaking, and she knew it off by heart, and she could point to the words, and as we went through the book, and that was her bedtime story, and she never tired of it. Every night that was it to go to bed with, um, and she started nursery, and I remember she'd been there a week, and. Um, um, my wife was uh, nursing, so she was doing shifts, so it was my job to pick her up from school. And I was in a job repping where it, it meant that I could go and pick her up from school. And uh, I remember the, the, all the mums and dads had been and taken the kids home, and I'm stood there waiting for Katie to come out, and she didn't come out. And I thought, oh, that, I, wonder, I wonder where she is. And I thought, oh, I wonder if, I wonder if Karen's, I wonder if they've rung Karen, because she's poorly and she's gone home. Anyway, the teacher came out with Katie in a, holding her hand. Uh -huh. And uh, and and she said to Katie, "Can can you just go play in the sand, Katie, for a little bit while I have a word with your daddy?" And I thought, "All right, I wonder what's going on here." And uh, she says, I'm, "I'm sorry, Katie's out late today. She's but she always wants to go and sit in the library. She wants to go and sit and look at the books." And I said, "Yeah, th uh, that's Katie. She does like her books." And I said, "A bedtime story." And I explained to her about backyard from Clancy Street. You see, uh -huh. and uh, she said, "Well." For her age, she says, it's it's not quite normal. And I said, it's not quite normal. And she says, no, she, we, sh we want her to be playing in the sand and we want her to come and play in the water and we want her to come and play play with the shapes. And I says, I, I forget the teacher's name. I said, but she's done all that at home. R-E-A-D-Y. We've, we've done all that at home. Ready? Re yes, yeah, she, she was, was ready. She was ready. Kids that want to read. And she, and she said... I, th I think you might take, need to take her to the doctor. She says, I think she may be dyslexic. She's just you teach them backwards, they try and write backwards, just, don't they? She just finished a degree a couple of years ago down at Sheffield University, and now she's at the Henshaw School for the Blind, helping <laughs> pe teach blind kids at a school there. So, and, and that is, we, we listen to these people that we think know best, mm -hmm. and there's only you knows your kids better than anybody. And do not let doctors, teachers, or anybody tell you any different. The men in white coats are coming to take us away. They are. The, they well, certainly the, the men are. and women in white coats. And people that bow at kowtow and listen to these people, and they, they think they're better than you because they've got a doctorate or a, a letter after the name, or I've done this degree, I've done... Take no notice. There is, there is um, a real awakening comes, and there's many of them along this journey, but there is one that I remember quite clearly, and that is that there is a section of society who are okay with the agenda, mm -hmm. because they do confirm that there is too many people, and uh, we should um, not use the resources up, and uh, that includes food and fuel. And yes. Yeah, and, and as technology increases, um, we'll need less people, and forever less people yeah and we need to reduce the population uh, to accommodate uh, what we need and there are some scaremongers out there who say yeah. that uh, the population is going to be redu reduced by 90 percent they're going to reduce reduce uh, release a chemical weapon and uh, you know they're going to use it uh, regionally to wipe out populations I don't think so I, I don't think so no I no. think this this type of scaremongering is is that's been the government being a double agent, isn't well, it? Well, there, there, are, there are a few people who are perhaps... Uh, 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 it doesn't appear to me... They've never... 
not in the way that they're saying that they're going to really, you know, and no. they're just going to kill millions of us on peace. No, the, this I, is I, I don't think people have realised that the actual chemical agent, the 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 very chemical attack that we're looking for, is well underway. It is right. It's it's well underway. Killing us well, softly. Well, yeah, I yeah, pretend to love us. The road mm. to hell is paved with good intentions. Mm. And I'm starting to realise now that the people who are are okay with this agenda believe the agenda of how for how it's been sold to them. They do. And I can see sat in a chair that would be way above my intelligence and income bracket. Mm. I can see how sat in that chair you could justify saying these people have had access to all the information and knowledge they've ever wanted. We've built a society that actually gives those that won't work and, and, and won't contribute. We still steal off those that will to give those that won't. And those that won't have had the chances, mm. and they haven't taken them. And that all sounds real, but it's not true. It isn't true. Because you have to go back to the beginning here. We've been made this way. We have. We've been made to be how we are. We've been born and bred. We have. And, and, and this is the real thing that everybody listening must remember. And I'm talking to myself here as well. Mm. We've been made to be like this. If we had access to the intelligence, the knowledge, we would live differently. Yes. But no master is going to teach his slave what he knows. He's, he's only not. ever going to educate his slave to do what he wants his slave to, to do. do as he's told. And look what they're doing to us. Mm. They're making us dumb. Yeah. Now, dumb is not stupid in the way that most people think, is it? No. To be dumb is to lose the ability, the ability to, to, to speak. Well, to communicate effectively. Mm. Right, we're losing the ability to communicate effectively. If you've got kids, you know. You know without me telling you. Their spelling is atrocious most of the time. Their writing ability is way below what you would expect. Mm. They might be 14, 15, 16 years old, but their writing ability is mm. that of an 8 or 9 year old. Yep. Maths is now for a calculator. It's not for mental exercise. Mm. It's now to be done on a calculator. Yep. We are losing the ability to read things that matter. Yep. To write anything mm -hmm. important yeah. and to calculate, we can't calculate. We can't. The ability to converse, as I've said many times, is you and I add value to the conversation. We share it. This multiplies because we've given something to each other. Mm -hmm. Add, subtract, multiply, share. We're losing the ability to have conversations of value. Yeah. Look around you. Look around. Look around. Listen. Listen to the conversations that are going on. They have no value. They have no resale value at all. No. They do not help your life or better your life in any single way. You are talking about nonsense and novelty, what you've seen, and then you say what you saw. See, saw, that's all you do all day. You've been programmed to talk about the past, the things that you've seen that don't matter, and you'll happily ring up the BBC and moan about something that uh, one of the Wimbledon, Wimbledon commentators said yeah. uh, on, on Five Live, mm. you'll ring up the BBC, you'll, you'll, you'll 684, 94 <laughs> complaints, right, they rang in, they complained about something that he said, yeah, she said, he said about something, she's yeah, not a looker not or something, looker, yeah, it yeah. was one of the girl female Johnny tennis Bidet. players, yeah. yeah, and, and 670, 84, whatever, rang in and complained, mm. but you don't complain about things that matter, do you? <laughs> you see how, how surface we are now, yeah. how, how our ego is offended by, by things that don't matter. What's Gove talking about? He's talking about the word gay now, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's talking about the word gay. He's yeah. going to start to pick on the word gay. He's starting to pick on the word gay. <sighs> it's, they are promoting a homosexual agenda. They are. Right? This is the long-term plan to turn men into homosexuals, mm -hmm. as many as possible. Because... They want to make, they make us in the image of themselves, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, no God-fearing, loving people would do this to society, but the devil ants would. Mm -hmm. The devil ants would do it. The deviants would do it. Mm -hmm. So they can tailor society, yeah? Mm -hmm. Look at these politicians. Look at them all. They can't do anything. No. Expi except spin you yep. in the world of words. Read a script. That's all that they can do. Dolly are his puppet masters. They are. 
You know, the, the, in, in the book Superclass, David Rothkopf said that there were 6,000 of the elites. Mm -hmm. 6,000 elites at the very most yeah. who were sat at the very top of their, their pyramidical schemes and systems. <laughs> and something funny happened at the G8 conference. I don't know whether people are aware of it. But the, this so-called global village, this new world order that they've supposedly engineered between themselves, and they give this illusion that they're, that they're all... Uh, uh, closely knit, uh, uh, Bush and Blair, and we've got Cameron and Obama, and and uh, all the nations around the world. And um, mm -hmm. uh, Obama met uh, um, George Osborne <laughs> and called him Jeff <laughs> twice. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> Hello, Jeffrey. He said. <laughs> so they can't even rem they don't even know each other's names. So if they don't even know each other's names, how do the, can they con us into thinking that they're running all this, this whole thing, this whole world, that they're running it between them? Not a chance. Not a chance. How it's really working is, isn't it, is they know who we are. They know how we are. They know they, how to manipulate us. That is our downfall. There is, that is the difference. We, yeah. Are, yeah, it's they our, know us too well. It's our weaknesses. Mm. And we are the working week. Yeah. And we're knackered on a Saturday and Sunday, the weekend. Mm. We call it the weekend. Yeah. And it's not a mistake that Saturn and Sunday are <laughs> side by side, is it? Because they're the two brothers. They're the two, they're they're two, the two ruling, yeah, they're they're the ruling two, they're planets. The, they're, the, they're the good and evil that, that fight. Mm. Saturday being the day we go out shopping and get up to no good. The materialism, the banking, the banks yeah, are yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's the black planet, the dark planet, the, the timekeeper, Kronos, mm -hmm. Saturn, Satan. Yes, yeah, say it how you like. And the, the sun's day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're side by side. And they get they, they, that's... It's not by mistake, is it? No. You know, that little language hop that the uh, the French to the English, the French still have the days of the week named after the planets. Mm. Don't they? They do. Lundi, Mardi, Mercredi, Vendredi, Jeudi, um, Samedi, Dimanche. Samedi, Dimanche, yeah. yeah. it's all the planets. They're mm. st they're, they're, they still have the Latin decode of the planets. They do. We've got war gods and all sorts. But that makes sense, because this has been run on war for a long time. Mm-hmm. We now have the ability to wage wars, wages, wars. Yes. Yeah, wages, there's still our wages to war with it. Mm -hmm. But we now have the ability, I say we, I don't know why I include myself, it's not to do with me. The ability now is to wage wars on a number of fronts. Mm -hmm. They can, it's the military industrial complex, it's, the world is war. Yeah. The world is war, it's nothing else, it's not going to beat anything else until they get the wrong way. They're fighting for global peace, mm -hmm. on their terms. Yeah. And if you look at the Iron Mountain report, Yes, I've read that. 1967, Seven, I think. Yeah. Right, the Iron Mountain Report. You can find it online. You can. I've got a copy of it if and, anybody and wants one. We'll put it up if below this YouTube video that you're yeah. watching tomorrow. Re take some reading. It does, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It does. Yeah. I've <laughs> given it out to other two people who said, I can't understand it. And I said, take your time. <laughs> take, take your what? time. Take your mm, time. It's yeah. Because it's written in a language that we're not familiar with. Mm. It's written in a slightly higher decode, but you can yeah. get it. You can get it. Now, people say the Iron Mountain Report. How can you prove it's real? <laughs> well, we're not interested in doing that. We, no. we, we don't argue about that. Read it. Yeah. It's been 1967. Been. The one thing that we do know is, it was released in 1967. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, that's, that, we do yeah. know that. Yeah. Another interesting date that links with 1967 is something you put up on, and I watched the, the, the YouTube video, the stem cell research doctor. <laughs> the first stem cells he split in 1967. But anyway, I digress. That was just another point we we think this all is new we think this is all yeah. it's not it's old yeah. stuff it's rediscovered it's been remembered it's re been researched yep. over and over again religion it's all a religion mm. we actually live in a world don't we where the the intelligent people are very concerned about the future and the ignorant mm. they're convinced they know what's gonna happen it's the upside down isn't it yeah because when you do get to speak to intelligent people, mm. they know this stuff. They yeah. actually know. Mm. Because to them, it's obvious. You said that we're actually, we're on the cusp of making ourselves obsolete. And they say, yes, yes we, we are. We certainly yeah. are. You said, but, and we have a money system that is designed to, to ever-increasing payments to the bankers. Mm. And they say, yes, I know. I mean, it, it does put you in your place, doesn't it, a little bit? I remember in the early days thinking, they all know this stuff. Mm -hmm. Here I am shouting and bawling, the world needs to know things that I've just learned. Mm -hmm. I've just watched a YouTube video and now I know stuff. <laughs> it didn't work out very well. No. But I tried and I soon learned that that mm -hmm. wasn't the way forward. Trying to engage people <sighs> mm. who obviously had a better education than me at that point. Yes. 
They already know. They do. They understand this system very, very well. Mm -hmm. But they don't see it in the negative light that we see it. They don't see its ultimate aim is to change humanity in a way that serves the uh, the, 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 the masses better. Yeah, the minority. Yeah, but we're going to be changed from this version of humanity into something more manageable, malleable, and compliable. Mm -hmm. And we'll never be able to change back. No. No. We, we can't change back this time. We're going to be engineered to be something different. Mm -hmm. And they will, the actual species will divide into two, physically. Mm -hmm. Physically, the, we, you will now be able to see the, 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 the superiors and, and, and the minors. Yeah. And we will be the minors. And children are called minors. They are. And, and the physical, spiritually, they've wrecked most people. Mentally, they've absolutely confused everybody's thinking. But this physical change, mm -hmm. to turn us all into genomes, G-N-O-M-E, yeah. because that's what we're going to be. We're going to be small... Squat, you know, squat, small mm. uh, images of, 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 of and they're going to be tall, athletic type superhuman. Mm -hmm. And that's the plan. Mm. And it's not difficult to see that the plan is underway. It is. It is well and underway. And the, and, and the actual depopulation, I can see it in my generation. My kids are not going to have the opportunity to have children. My, my, my daughter is 24 by the time I said to Kate, my, my daughter Kate when I was when um, I'd got two kids by the end time I was 24 Kate had been the eldest and Lewis been the youngest uh -huh. um, and and they're at an age now where they're not even thinking about children they don't, they don't even want to think about having children it's not even on their radar that, that but yet it was on my radar it was on. It was in my list of things to do. Yeah, but their their their, their wishes have have been well, their their list of achievements has been reduced considerably. Yes. You know, we're going to be a nation of renters. Yeah. And ultimately, the banks own everything. Mm. The housing association cover that in various different yeah. housing associations or whatever. Mm. But this is eternal rent to the bank. Yes, it is. Uh, we maintain it, but they pick up the rent all the time through mm. housing associations, which are just going to be landlords. Yes. It's just landlords' fronts, isn't it, really? Mm, it is, yeah. It's, it's banks under a different name. Yeah, but, I mm. mean, it is our ignorance of the money system, and, and I even find intelligent people don't understand the money system very well. You know, well, every house, if you look around you if, you, if you're surrounded by houses that have been around for 50, 60, 70 years, those houses have been bought and sold probably two or three times. Mm -hmm. And how many people actually know that every time you go to the bank for a mortgage, if it's 100000 or 150000 that is roughly the amount of profit the bank's going to make over the 25-year time period mm -hmm. that you've signed up for. If it's £150,000, your mortgage, the bank is going to make about that in yeah, profit. In profit. Yeah, so you're paying twice for it. Mm -hmm. And here's the real kicker that most people will never understand. The bank doesn't have any money. <laughs> People can't get this. They think banks take money in and lend it back out. Yeah, they do. It's digital. But in today's mm. modern world, banks have, they don't risk customers' accounts, or at least they weren't meant to ever be able to risk customers' accounts. They actually take your promise and print it in advance digitally. Mm. So they give you your future promises and bank what you've just given them to bank. Mm. You take in all three parts of the deal you take in the guarantee to pay well you take in the property the security and the promise mm -hmm. you're all three parts of it they just actually make it happen mm -hmm. and I don't think anybody's ever going to actually figure that out in big enough numbers to say this banking carry on is a bit of a bloody scam isn't it mm -hmm. because we don't have the ability to think different do we we don't actually I hear people online talking about systems that we could create if this one wasn't here. Yeah. But there comes a time when you say, "Yeah, I, I'm enjoying the the you know I'm enjoying the ability to to talk about what we could engineer, but we have to actually change this one yes. into the new system. Mm. We can't. People say we'll just we'll just opt out, just remove ourselves from the system. Mm. We shall just say no." Doesn't stop you doing that, does it? No. You can no, you actually can, do that. You could do that if you, you can if you can find somewhere that you can live for free. Yeah. But you can't go to the doctors. You, you can't f you can't phone the police or anything. I mean this isn't a well I'll have that benefit, but I'm not having that benefit. Mm. You see, once if you're in the system with a national insurance number, 
you're in. Yeah. Okay, you're in. You've got to actually give that whole lot back and say, I don't want mm. anything. It's a massive step backwards, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You do come to only one conclusion. We have to get involved with the system we've got. We do. And we have to challenge the corruption that's running it. Yeah. And we have to find good people, and they are around. They are around, yeah. They yes. are here. They're around us all. Yeah. Good people are everywhere. We now, I've spoken to two pharmacists over the past two weeks. Mm. One from Thirsk and one from here where I live in Ripon. They both confirm that the, the, the pharmaceuticals that we're having and we've been given and the prescriptions that they're handing out, they both confirm they have problems with it. But they won't come on here and talk. So I say, well, why don't you just come and talk to me off record? We'll have a, a cup of coffee downstairs. I'll ask you 20, 30 questions. You give me how it looks from your side. And at least you, you know, I can say I've spoken to a pharmacist. I've asked these questions. These are the answers that I got. Neither of them, neither of them, have, 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 you know, they won't do it. No. We are a bunch of cowards, you know. Yeah. We are a bunch of cowards. Mm -hmm. We are. Sat here talking. Sat here talking as we are now. We're doing something that we have to remember that we're doing. Mm. We're dreaming of a future. Yes. And a dream can only come true when you wake up and make it happen. So, into the last section of our show we go then. That is the dream. I, mean, that, I think that's fantastic. I absolutely mm. love that song. Super Trap Live. Uh, four sections we've done this evening. We're getting the hang of this now a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. uh, we, we, don't, we don't try and do too long because this get to, gets turned into a YouTube clip tomorrow. And we find just over the hour mark, we find people who listen to that. Yeah. But just over the hour and a half mark, they won't listen. No, no. They, they don't follow it through, do they? No. So it is getting towards the point of saying goodnight and thank you to absolutely Please. everybody for, uh, for listening to us this evening. We are just two guys from Yorkshire who try and make our little difference to what happens next. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's all we can do, isn't it? It is. Uh, yeah. We have to speak this into reality, mm. speak it in a way that doesn't frighten people, make it attractive. Mm. All right? Don't, don't push it too hard. It is the ultimate half a glass of water thing. Yeah. If, if you just try, you know, I, I think my statistics, maybe 1 in 15, 1 in 20, 1 in 25, mm. that is going to be enough. Yeah. We're not there yet. Enough people aren't hurting yet. But it will get there. Remember what I said to the people who are already suffering now. Your job is not done now. Your job is to recognise those who are falling. Recognise the ones that are struggling. And don't say, I told you so. Mm. And don't say, I... Don't talk about yourself. Do what it is that makes you happy. Can I help you with anything? Mm. Can I yeah. help you? Is there anything that I can do for you? You've got time. Use it wisely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, why is Lee? Mm. So when you see somebody who's struggling, say, can I help you with anything? Stop doing money as your number one driver. All right, stop. Money is, is, is measured in the wealth of your friends, of your connections, the people who will help, who'll help you. Yeah. Don't be alone. Don't be lonely. All right, alone is all the way. It's, I know it sounds a bit flowery, but we're all in this together. We are all one. Mm. All one is the word alone. Don't be fooled. It's not you're on. You're not on your own. But you're going to find people like you, the ones that are, the being leaves on the same tree as you. Yeah. Find who to walk with, who to talk with, and who to work with. Don't give up. But don't think the internet is your savior. It's not going to save you. The internet <coughs> can never save you. Every film that you've ever watched, somebody, something, some circumstance has saved the day. But it's never happened in real life, has it? No. We've got a story from 2,000 years ago. Yes. But they bloody we're crucified him, didn't they? We're still waiting for But they still crucified him. Mm. All right, he didn't yeah. win, did he? No. Nope. No, no, he didn't sell off into the sunset with his uh, with the cheers ringing to his ears. Mm. No, they bloody crucified him. Yeah. So remember the Barabbas story, when they were given the choice, who should we save? Mm -hmm. Barabbas, a known thief, or Jesus himself, the teller of the truth? Yeah. And who did the crowd say? Who did the crowd vote for? They wanted Barabbas. That's who they wanted to release him, wasn't it? Mm. This tells you who we are and how we've always thought. Mm. 
And you say, but that's not me now. Congratulations, it's not you now. But this system is going to confront you one day. It's going to say, if you want something from me, you're going to do something from me. Because all slaves eventually will be made to perform or they will starve. Mm. Now you think, starve? Now I'll always get me, I'll, I'll always get me. The starving is different this time, aren't yeah, they? It's a different starvation. It's a different starvation, isn't it? Mm. You see the foods in the supermarkets and you get just enough to go, go shopping. Mm. But it's a different starvation. You're eating it and eating it and eating it. But it's got no nutritional value. No. It looks like food. It tastes like food. It actually looks doll's house perfect, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All year. Mm -hmm. All year. You can't actually grow food at the price they can sell it to no, you. No, you can't. You can't. And we're trying. We're having a good, yeah. But, but we don't well, mind, but we cannot grow food. No. Better. Oh, not better, but it's not it doesn't look like the stuff they've got no it doesn't the stuff they've got is bloody perfect it is 24 hours a day 7 days a week 52 weeks a year mm. there it is mm -hmm. it's not food is it it's poison isn't it mm. it's G M O oh. genetically modified organisms mm. will the politicians eat it no they're not having it they're either. not having it no they're not having any of it no. No. Do Monsanto's staff eat it? No. No. Do the royals eat it? No. no. Do any of the elites, do they all carry their own chefs around? Do they actually yeah, carry their own food around? Yeah. You have had that confirmed to you, actually, yeah, haven't you? Have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. We are in so much trouble. We're in a message. We're in a real troublesome time. Yeah. We're living in 2013 AD. Mm. after death mm. and who is it who's dying <sighs> mm -hmm. Anno Domini you're of our lords <laughs> that's about right isn't it yeah cricket's it is. played at lords isn't it it is <laughs> yeah landlords mm. house of lords yeah <laughs> keep looking up at the skies don't we <laughs> we do <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> looking in the wrong bloody place aren't we <laughs> we certainly are for another Tuesday another Tuesday yes gone Thanks for listening to everybody on Awake Radio. Thank you very much for uh, for letting us broadcast on the site. We absolutely love it. Um, not love it in a way, but we love being able to get this message out. We do. Thank you and to them. Yeah, this, this is this is our, do our show. It's there. our record, isn't yes. it? It's our record yeah. of what we've done, why we do it. We do it because we can. We try and learn different ways to say the same thing. If you listen back to our shows, you'll actually, see, you'll actually hear us saying the same thing week mm. after week after week mm. in a different way. Yeah. Because we're trying to work out how to switch that light on, mm -hmm. how to get you upstairs and switch the landing light on. Yeah. Because at the moment, you're downstairs in the basement, right, the base mind, mm. or basemente, you're in the basic mind, mm -hmm. and we're trying to get you up the stairs and switch the light on. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what 13 stairs, landing light. Mm -hmm. So let's, uh, let's leave it at that. You will. And uh, Terry will be on Block Talk and everybody on Wake. Have a jolly, jolly good week. We'll be back next Tuesday. And for those listening on Block Talk, only three more weeks on Block Talk, and then we're going to transfer the actual broadcast over to Awake. Uh -huh. So we'll give people plenty of time on Block Talk that we're going to come off there, go on to Awake, we're going to set, reset the studio, right. and then we'll be able to take, um, we'll be able to do video recording. Uh, right, yeah. Live Skype calls, multi Skype calls, all video recording. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to set up what is the next generation of studios. So that's why we're turning it around at the end of the month. Yes. All those things to come. We'll see you just before 9 o'clock next Tuesday. Have a good week. Till next week. Good night. <laughs>